Boom. And this is our meat olive video. Yes, and mixed with a little bit of a puppy haul. And we're gonna show you all the things that we got and a little bit of like tips and tricks to having any puppy. So we just got this little guy like <laughs> about a month ago, right? Um, or like three weeks ago? About a month ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so we got him yeah. about a month ago and we love him so incredibly much but he's agitated right now <laughs> really and he's distressed that all his stuff <laughs> is in the room he was trying to pull it out it was really cute so his name is olive and he is a shetland sheepdog pomeranian mix and when also those, known uh, as apache apache yes and when those things mix it comes out the most cutest thing in the whole entire world ever right yeah Oh, and if you haven't subscribed to us, hit the subscribe button below. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for watching. And let's get started. So, the first thing and one of the most important things that we got for him was puppy food. And we got him the Science Diet Puppy Small and Toy Breed. And what's really cool about this bag is that it has like a Velcro seal on the top. So, it never can get stale. And he loves this food so much. Really and it has like a feeding guide on the side and everything. And it has like really tiny kibbles in it. So it's really good for puppies because they can't choke. Because it's just like, it's really soft and easy for them to eat. And to put all of that food in, we got a canister from Home Goods. It says dog food. And it's airtight so no bugs or yuppies can get into it and spoil the food. So to go with his food, we got him these bowls which are also from home goods and they come inside this little um like wrought iron thing and the bowls both come out it's like rustic -y and like shabby yeah. chic and it's perfect like it goes with our decor it's really cute yeah and it just goes in the kitchen and once for food and once for water yeah. and it's we got him like the smaller one because there was also a really high one but since he's a small dog this one's easier for him to reach although his legs are getting much longer because when we got him they were stubby like mm -hmm. almost like corgi and like Boxing <laughs> stubby, but, but he's growing. But we know he's gonna stay pretty small, so we got him the smaller size. But if you have a bigger puppy, you can just get the bigger one. <laughs> and in our opinion, water bottles. So you can get, you, we use Poland Spring just because we just love the taste of Poland Spring, but you can get your store brand type of water bottle, but it's a, a lot better than actually using the tap water. And it helps like with tear stains and everything, it keeps it all under control if they have regular bottled water. So the next thing we got for underneath his bowls was this mat, and it just keeps everything dry underneath in case he spills water or drops his food or anything. So, and it also is like, he likes to stand on it when he eats because it keeps his paws warm. Because <laughs> his food is on the tile floor and he just likes to be warm when he eats. Olive, he's playing with all the boxes that we keep all the lighting in. <laughs> right, he has it in his mouth. Yes. And okay, another really important thing that you should have when you have a puppy is some kind of stain or odor remover for the carpets because they're puppies and they're gonna make mistakes. I mean, we're, you know, 22 years old and we still make mistakes, not that we pee on the floor, but you know, you don't know. And you need it. And especially because he's a boy, he can spot. Yeah. And you do not want a spotting puppy. And this is supposed to take out the odor completely and it's fast drying. And it's natural, so it's safe for pets. We got this at PetSmart. And it comes in handy a lot. <laughs> so the next thing we got for him was, we wanted to get puppy shampoo for him, but we wanted something really gentle that we knew wouldn't irritate his skin. So we got him the Burt's Bees for Puppies 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner. And it's made with um, oatmeal, so it's really good for his skin. And it also smells really good too, I think. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't, it's not really that fragrant, it just kind of yeah. smells more like on the natural side, it doesn't smell like, you know, donuts. And but it's 97% natural, and has buttermilk in it, and it's perfect for puppies. Yes. And for after bath time, you have to get him his own towel. He is now sporting a baby blue. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's really cute, and it's like microfiber, so it dries really quick, and it's soft on his fur and on his skin, so it won't scratch or like make his fur tangly because he has like poofy hair. And he knows that's his because it has a dog bone on it, and we love it actually. <laughs> it's really cute. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's also warm. good for like if it's raining outside and you bring them in, you can like wipe their paws on it or whatever. Mm -hmm. so yeah. So it doesn't get on the carpet or on you know the comforter. It really or, comes in handy. Couch. 
clothes. <laughs> so the next thing we got for him, also an essential and also good for when they come out of the bath, is a brush. And we got him this purple one. And it's for it's for brushing the hair. It removes pet hair from clothes and furniture. So it's like a three in one. <laughs> it looks like this and it's like really rubbery and soft, so it won't ever hurt him. When we were at PetSmart, um, the groomer actually said that she uses that on yeah. her puppies and that she loves it. So we kind of took her opinion with it. We never tried it. Another, I feel like we're saying another essential. Well, it's because they're, pretty much it's all essentials. all essentials. I guess like some of it is a little like not essentially, but pretty much it's all essential. So we got him a harness and a leash because you have to walk your dogs. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, but our, <laughs> our harness, it's cute and little, and you have to make sure when you buy them that they're snug enough so they can't squirm out of them, but like loose enough so it doesn't hurt them. Like you should be able to have like two fingers to fit under it, like under the armpit really nicely, and then you know it fits him. And we got him this leash, and this one's the Martha Stewart collection, I think, but it's patriotic and He's all about Go USA, so. And when we first bought his harness, we bought the matching Martha Stewart one to this leash, but it turned out to be a little too big tie. for him. Yeah, it had a bow tie on it, but it was a little too big, so we're gonna yeah. save that one for when he gets bigger and just use that leash one for him. him. He's like, he's like, oh, are we going to walk? Yes, we are after. We and are. he loves walking so much. Oh, yes, he goes by downstairs by the door, and he says, Mama, please take us on a walk. Mm -hmm. And then we go on a walk, and we look at the geese and the turtles. And so the next thing we got him that he is obsessed with is these Merrick Power Bite beef treats. They're little tiny treats and they're really good for training. We actually taught him how to sit and give paw by using these treats and he loves them so much. And they're made in the United States, which is really important. We try to like yeah. stay like locally just so we know that it's local. Um, but these are really healthy and they have like vitamins and minerals in them. And they're really good for puppies. We made sure of that. They won't hurt his stomach. And they're tiny enough, so if you wanted to train them and you want to give them a lot mm -hmm. at a time, it's not gonna give them too much fat or anything like that because they are for training, right? And see, I learned, I learned sit and I learned paw and I'm starting to learn down. We're still working on it. We're still working on that. I know it's a little tough. Another thing which is just for cuddles is to have his own blankie. So if he's on the couch or on the bed with you or really anywhere and he's laying and he just wants to cuddle up, a nice soft blanket is always good. He loves it. I mean, okay, so yeah, he's a dog, but when you bring him into your family and you bring him into your house, he's really not a dog anymore and he's just another little small furry person. And we all like to be cuddly and soft with blankets. We got him this big <laughs> toy bin to keep all his toys in and it has puppies on it and it's filled with some of his favorite toys. Okay. So we got him a whole bunch of these unstuffed toys. They're just like flat and they have stickers in them and it's safer because if the dogs rip open the toys with the fluff in them and eat them, they can get really sick. So we got all these for him. Yeah, we got the Canadian goose, the flamingo, the fox, who looks like a fox, <laughs> and the shark. And the dinosaur. Yes, because, oh yeah, the dinosaur, I forgot about this one. Actually, Vic got us the dinosaur. Mm -hmm. And he's obsessed with all those toys. Yeah, my dad got him the fox, I think mom got him the flamingo, and then we got him the goose, the goose and the shark. And we have geese in our backyard, which is why we love them, and we got him. I them. love Canadian <laughs> geese. And so another thing that's very important for a puppy is a teether bone. And this is just like a plastic bone and he can teethe on it. And also you can put it in the freezer and it's, it feels like better for them on their gums if it's frozen. So we do that for him sometimes and he loves it. This is also really good for teething too, the rope toys. Mm -hmm. He loves that. Just make sure that they are not, you know, eating any of the fuzz or even like if he ripped open this, like there's nothing in it, but make sure he doesn't eat the squeakers or anything that could be really harmful to their stomachs. And then we got him these little Kong balls. There's a basketball and an eight ball. And he just loves to like play fetch with them. Like we'll throw them to him and he'll like get them and bring them back. And they're easy for yeah. his math because he he's them. still kind of little. Another thing you should have, at least in our opinion, you should have, <laughs> is a pet bed. This is the one that we keep in the living room. He is super duper spoiled and he has a bed in the bedroom. Um, it's like blue and it's really cute, but we didn't. It's like in the bedroom, but you know, a bed. <laughs> <laughs> and this is his second bed, mm -hmm. and super soft. What I love about getting the beds at Home Goods is that you can match any of the beds with your home decor because they have like 
ridiculous choices. <laughs> and the last thing that is just for fun <laughs> and for kind of for you <laughs> is a picture frame with Olive's picture in it. <laughs> and we have like actually a few of these around the house, but we just love him so much and we want to have him all over the place. And it's cute too, so like in a couple months or in a year, when you look at the pictures and you're like, ah, he was so little then, and now he's not little. Okay, so that concludes our puppy haul. Let us know what you think in the comments, and if you have any more tips, let us know. And this week we are also going to be filming a school supply haul slash what is in my backpack because we start school soon. <laughs> and there might be a surprise at the end of that video, so oh, yeah. make sure you watch that. We have all of our stuff right over here. We're really excited to show you guys what we got. And guys, wait a minute. We are less than 20 subscribers away from 500 nomies. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. So. Tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your grandma, <laughs> tell everyone to go subscribe to us. It's free. And then there'll also be a huge giveaway. Very similar to our 100 subscriber giveaway, which was awesome. Go check out that video too if you want to see what we gave away to see what might be coming in the future. And we've been <laughs> vlogging. So go check out those too because they're really fun and they're kind of awkward because that's what we are. <laughs> so stay tuned for our back to school video. Ah! And... We'll see you then. See you later. Yeah. This is what happens when your spoiled puppy is too tired to go on a long walk. Why are you so typical? Thank God for nature's miracles. <laughs> oh, for all your puppy's mistakes. What happened? The lid wasn't on.